Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Marketplace multi vendor Module for Magento 2 and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you uh, some new features that we have uh, added within the multi vendor module itself. So uh, today we'll be talking about the report flag functionality that we have added and using this the admin can allow the customers to report a flag against the seller and the seller's product as well. So what this exactly means is that uh, if a customer is having any issues within uh, with a particular product or the seller, then they can report a flag from the front end itself. And uh, after that, the admin can check the uh, details and accordingly, the admin would be able to deny or suspend a seller or his product. So uh, let's get ahead and let's see how this particular functionality works. So for that, I'll be taking you to the admin backend panel. So I'll be logging into my admin panel by tapping the sign in button and after I've signed in into my account. So I've logged in and what we need to do is we need to do some initial configuration settings for uh, setting up the flags in the first place. So for that I'll be navigating through stores then configuration and on the configuration section under the web cool block we have the marketplace uh, module installed and uh, under that we have uh, the seller flags as you can see here on the right hand side and we have a number of options to uh, configure so uh, let's go through each of them one by one so uh, here the admin would be able to enable the seller flags and uh, the option to uh, raise a flag would be available on the product page and uh, on the uh, seller's profile page from the seller's profile page uh, the uh, customers would be able to uh, uh, raise a flag against the seller and for the product, the customers can raise the flag using the uh, product page itself. So they'll find a link there that can be tapped. So uh, it was about the enable or disable this uh, module at the front end. Then we have the text. So uh, uh, whichever text that you, you'll be uh, uh, displaying to the customers on the uh, seller profile page, you can set that up. So uh, the customers, whenever they go to a particular seller's uh, profile page, under the name of the seller or uh, on the left hand upper left hand corner the customers would be able to see the report seller option so you can set it up as per your own requirement the text that would be visible to the customers right then we have the uh, guest can flag so here the admin can allow the guest users to report a flag against the seller so if you want that the customer uh, that the guest customers would uh, also be able to uh, raise a flag then you can choose this option as a yes otherwise uh, to disallow the guests to raise a flag you can choose a no for this then we have uh, the uh, drop down for the uh, reasons basically uh, whether you want to uh, have this option as yes required or no so for the uh, reasons if this is uh, for example set to yes uh, then uh, for example if I choose this option as no then you'll see the uh, uh, the other two options that were there have been disabled so if you don't want to provide the uh, users with the reasons that they can first initially select and thereafter they can uh, raise a flag, <coughs> then you can uh, choose a no. Otherwise, if you want the customers to uh, choose uh, from a predefined list of uh, reasons, then uh, you can choose this option as a yes and yes required. And uh, you can also choose the option for the accept other reasons so that if uh, the reason is not listed uh, within the list that you provided uh, within the reasons uh, for the users. So at that time, if this option is selected as a yes, then now what the customers can do, they, uh, they can enter manually uh, whatever they are feeling like uh, or the reason uh, for raising the flag. So uh, if we select this option as a yes for the accept other reasons, then other field placeholder would be created uh, wherein the uh, customer would be able to easily uh, type in the reason for uh, raising the flag right panel that we can see and here we have uh, the option for the seller flag reasons so we can uh, uh, separately create the uh, flag reasons for the sellers as well as the flag reasons for the products as well so uh, let's see the uh, seller flag reasons initially and then we'll uh, go to the flag reasons for the products so uh, the uh, seller uh, on the seller flag reasons uh, if you've already uh, created some uh, reasons they'll be listed down here and you'll be able to uh, delete disable or enable as per your own requirement 
apart from that to create a, a new uh, reason what you need to do is you need to tap the new reason button on the top right hand corner and that would bring up this section wherein uh, you can type in the title for the uh, flag reason and you can make the status of that particular flag reason as enabled or disabled uh, for the web store front end so uh, let's uh, type in a flag reason so i've set it as i didn't like the seller attitude towards the responses so we can set this status as enabled and we can tap the save reason button and this reason would get saved and would be visible within the list that we have also only five uh, uh, reasons would be visible at the uh, web store front end so we'll check that as well so our reason has been saved and accordingly uh, so here you can see the uh, response uh, the flag response has been created for the seller uh, depending upon the seller uh, we'll create the uh, appropriate uh, uh, what we say as these reasons so that the customers can even select that from the list and can provide us with the information there regarding the sellers so uh, under the uh, product flag reason uh, product flag reason Similarly, uh, we have the different reasons and to create a new reason we can tap the new reason button on the top right hand corner here So now let's see how the customers would be able to report uh, the flags for the sellers and uh, for the product So for that I'll be taking you to the web store front end first So I'll be logging in as a customer first and thereafter I'll be showing you how uh, a customer would be able to report a flag for a seller and for the seller's product within the uh, web store here so uh, I've already logged in and now let me go to any of the categories that we have and uh, we'll choose a product we'll go to a product page first so I'll be showing you how to raise a flag regarding the products if you have any uh, doubts regarding the products there and if you feel like that the product is not uh, reliable and you want to raise a flag for the same so I'll go to a category first and then I'll go to a product page okay here i am at the electronics uh, section now let me open this digital mouse this is one product here that we have now here uh, basically you can see that uh, on the product page uh, we have a report product option uh, so we can tap this report product option and this brings up this uh, report uh, product page, uh, section wherein uh, you'll find all the customer would find all of the uh, created uh, responses for the flags and accordingly uh, the customer can uh, select one and if uh, this uh, if the customer doesn't find any of these options or the reasons uh, uh, as good to go then he can choose the other and can type in his uh, particular uh, report that he wants to report for this particular uh, product and tapping the submit button will submit this particular report or the flag as you can see that uh, we have this message as well that uh, you have reported against this uh, particular product and we'll be re verifying the product information and if see and if uh, we find it uh, as violating then uh, we'll be uh, like disabling the product or the seller so this was for the product now uh, let's go to the seller page so i've tapped here on the uh, seller page here so from here you can see that we have this report seller option so tapping that up will again bring up this uh, report seller section wherein now uh, you can see that we have different options uh, this is the option that i just created didn't like the seller attitude towards responses if you don't feel, uh, feel or you don't find a particular reason here then you can tap the other one and it can type in your uh, comment uh, for this particular flag otherwise you can choose an option and you can tap the submit button thereafter so this was how uh, the uh, customer would be able to report a flag from the product page and from the seller's profile page now uh, if the admin wants to check uh, from the back end for uh, the particular sellers uh, which uh, flags have been raised so for that uh, what the admin needs to do I'll take you to the uh, configuration page once again
So here uh, uh, I'll go to the marketplace management then I'll go to ma manage seller sub menu option within the marketplace and here we have the manage seller section wherein uh, all of these sellers are being listed so for example if we uh, check uh, for the uh, Jane Doe for example so here we'll see all the details of this particular customer who is also a seller would be displayed so here uh, we have this flags uh, option under the under the what we say is the customer information block here we have the flag section so tapping that up brings all of the flags that have been uh, put up for this particular seller so that was how the admin would be able to uh, check the flags from the admin backend so uh, basically that was much about this particular uh, feature that we have added in the Magento 2 multi window module for Magento 2. So we just showed you how to create the different reasons for the seller flags and for the product flags and how the customers can go to the product page to uh, flag or raise a flag for the particular product and how to go to a seller's profile page and how to uh, raise a flag for the particular seller there and how the admin would be able to check each of the individual sellers uh, flags that have been uh, put up for them. So that was much about this particular uh, updated feature that we have just added. So uh, in the coming videos, I'll be showing you some more uh, different uh, uh, features that we have uh, added uh, lately. So uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, have a great day ahead. And uh, if you have any questions or queries regarding this extension, then you can always get back to us at support at or you may raise a ticket at webpool.uvs.com.